Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you, the restoration of a 2016 Toyota 86. The model kit is from Ayashima, number 050934, in 124th scale. This build came complete, missing only the top roof antenna, and the rear wing was loose. The paint job on the body was bad. Therefore, I decided to repaint it. Some other details I needed to paint, or repaint, but let me show you my restoration process. I started by the interior, after disassembling all the parts that I could. I forgot to take a picture of the interior as it was before, but it was all black, because it was built without being painted. I could remove and preserve the gauge's decal from the dashboard, and then I painted everything flat black. I painted the area for the gauges with silver, then I placed the gauges decal over it. I also painted with silver the door handles, the steering wheel center, the pedals, and some details on the center console. The screen from the dashboard was painted with clear blue over the silver. Then, I installed the seat belts for the front and rear seats, and I painted with red the four seat belt locks. Finally, I covered the backside of the interior tube and the trunk interior with black flocking, to give these areas a carpet look, as the first can be seen from the rear window, and the second, we can see it when the trunk door is open. As I already said, I decided to change the paint job of the body. Therefore, with warm water, I managed to remove the decals existing in the kit and preserve them. After that, I stripped the paint, and painted all the body parts, first with black primer. Then, I painted these body parts with the metallic orange from Tamiya, TS92, and placed again the preserved decals from the black areas on the top of the front fenders. I repainted the windows trims with black, and black washed the panel lines from the doors. I repainted the disc brakes with silver, and the brake calipers with carmine red, to give them a brighter color, as we can see them through the rims. The rear wing was painted black and glued it to the trunk door. The top of the wing, as well as the hood were covered with carbon fiber decals. As the antenna from the roof was missing, I made one, as close as possible to the original, and glued it to the top of the roof. On the front, I placed again the preserved Toyota symbol decal on the hood and used a license plate from my decals box. The front spoiler was painted black and covered with carbon fiber decal. The side mirrors before were all black, but I repainted them black, with the top metallic orange, as the body. On the rear, the taillights were before all painted red, but I repainted with chrome, and painted only the round areas of the stoplights with clear red, with the center clear orange for the turn signal lights. I placed again the preserved decals and used a license plate from my decals box. To finalize the body, seal the decals and give it a bright finish, I clear coated all body with gloss varnish. The chassis was black, but not painted. Therefore, I painted it flat black and dry brushed it with silver to highlight the details. I painted with silver the front area over the front axle, the gas tank on the back, as well as the drive shaft and the rear axle. The exhaust system was chrome, so I stripped it and painted with silver. Then I dry brushed some areas with gold and clear blue to give it a burn metal aspect. Finally, the built is finished, so let's see it. Just to remember, this was the initial status of this model kit before the work I just showed for the restoration process. So now, let's turn the page and see the final result for the new life of this model kit. I'm very happy how it turned out, and I think this new color scheme is much nicer than the previous one. I hope you like it too, and if you want, tell me your opinion on the comments down below. I have some static pictures at the end, for a more detailed view of this restored kit, so, stay tuned. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.